it's fair to say that we we still ha don't have a set way of working particularly no. sometimes no. it would end up with me on an acoustic guitar and roger on the kit yeah um and we would lay a demo down paul rogers is an english canadian singer songwriter and multi-instrumentalist a poll in Rolling Stone magazine ranked him number 55 on its list of the 100 greatest singers of all time. In 2011, Rogers received the British Academy's Ivor Novello Award for Outstanding Contribution to British Music. Rogers has been cited as a significant influence on a number of notable rock singers. In 1991, John Mellencamp called Rogers the best rock singer ever. Freddie Mercury, in particular, liked Rogers and his aggressive style. And I said, let's just kick off with, uh, if I were the sun way up there, you know. And then everyone went, okay, oh. I, think, I think we can do this thing. Yeah. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Paul Bernard Rogers, but is also known as The Voice. He was born on December 17, 1949 in Middlesbrough, England, making him 70 years old at the time of this production. Rogers became a Canadian citizen on October 21, 2011. He's quite content to be enjoying his current life as a Canadian, soaking up the natural splendor of his home in BC's beautiful Okanagan Valley. Rogers and family have embraced such typical Canadian pastimes as swimming, kayaking, jamming with the sheepdogs and advocating for indigenous Canadian wildlife. He's also shown particular interest in the challenges facing herds of wild horses roaming the Okanagan area. Don't think for a moment, however, that Rogers has lost the drive that's helped him release 27 CDs and sell 125 million albums and earn his position at number 55 on Rolling Stone's list of the all-time greatest vocalists. Rogers says that drive is something he's had since he was an aspiring young musician in his hometown of Middlesbrough, England, he said, when I look back and I left home when I was about 17, I didn't know that I had an agenda, but I did. And it was to survive, to find peace of mind and to make music doing it. And I think that's what I've been doing all this time. The drive comes from a love of music and performing. Rogers has a child from an early relationship who resides in his hometown of Middlesbrough, England. Rogers married Machiko Shimizu in 1971 and has two children from that marriage, Steve and Jasmine. The two children are also musicians and singers who formed a band, Boa, in the 1990s. Rogers and Shimizu divorced in 1996. In September of 2007, in Canada's Okanagan Valley, Rogers married a former model in Miss Canada, exercise physiologist Cynthia Kirillik. I think, you know, the future of mankind, really, both, both, you know, physically and spiritually, is kind of, you know, out there in space. Paul Bernard Rogers was born in Middlesbrough, England. He played bass for a band called the Roadrunners. Colin Bradley originally had the lead vocalist spot, but convinced Rogers to sing and front the band as he was primarily interested in playing rhythm guitar, and his older brother Joe, who managed the band, supported the idea. Just before leaving Middlesbrough for the London music scene, the band changed its name to The Wildflowers. Other band members were Mick Moody, later of Whitesnake, and Bruce Thomas. Paul Rogers is best known for being the vocalist for the band's Free and Bad Company. His most recent success comes from recording and performing with Queen. He's fluent in vocals, guitar, keyboards, piano, drums, bass, harmonica, synthesizer, flute, harp, and other percussion. He's been active in the music industry since 1968 and has been affiliated with record labels such as Atlantic, Victor Entertainment, SPV, GmbH, and Velvel. He was listed at number 55 on the list of 100 greatest singers of all time, according to Rolling Stone. Rogers' first band was called the Roadrunners, with whom he played bass and later switched to vocals. He joined Free in 1968 and discovered international radio success in 1970 with their single, All Right Now. Following the dissipation of Free, Rogers formed Bad Company with Mick Ralphs, Simon Kirk, and Boz Burrell. They toured from 1973 to 1982 and released several successful singles, including Can't Get Enough, the self-titled Bad Company, Shooting Star, and more. Rogers made his solo debut in 1983 with his album Cut Loose, 
He was featured on the album as a multi-instrumentalist. He eventually created The Firm with Jimmy Page and tracked two albums and completed two tours before disbanding and the formation of The Law in 1991 with former members of The Who and Faces. Rogers collaborated with Steve Vai on the project in an effort to cite his admiration of Jimi Hendrix. In 2001, Rogers joined Bad Company once again for a reunion tour. He was approached by Queen in 2004 and asked to tour with the band between 2005 and 2006. Following the tour with Queen, he focused on his solo career and in 2007 performed alongside the Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Paul Rogers' net worth is estimated to be $14 million. Paul Rogers likely lives in a home like this. One acre flat lakefront property with a sandy beach and dock with mature trees that creates the most tranquil and private lakefront setting. There are three buildings that come with this exclusive lakefront property. A 3,052 square foot main home that features five bedrooms and three baths. A triple car garage with a workshop and additional storage and a separate washroom for guests who are using the lake that includes a storage room for all your beachfront toys. Paul Rogers' cars would include a Maserati Quattroporte, a Ford F-150, a Buick Enclave, a Porsche 911 Spyder, and a Bentley Continental GT.